hey guys, Nova here, and I'm going to be starting a Feed the Beast series here. It's going to be sort of me just having a go at the game and sort of just doing a world tour type feel. So, let's just create a world. Uh, I'm running the Faithful, ta uh, faithful Pack, <laughs> if you want to know. It's just a little modded version for this. And I'm also running um, off the direwolf version for Feed the Beast as it has the the uh, oh I can't, I can't remember what it's called I remember it in a moment um, the linking but the mistcraft yeah that's what it has it has mistcraft in it and I just really like that mod so I wanted to run off this version instead it has red power and all that stuff as well so that's all cool so I've just typed in a random seed and well not random it was my <laughs> it's my IGN in-game name and we're in a weird forest trees are big <laughs> let's just go on let's try and find some area of high ground oh there we go okay so I'm not complete noob with this, I've been messing around in creative and had a little survival world I tried out and just to see if I liked it. And yeah, I've just really got into it, got into it and wanted to start something with you guys, so this is me starting something. Hmm. Sandy. Okay. Well, we're gonna to try and find a place to live we are. And uh, I'll just like sort of gather some resources along the way. Um, and I. Ow. <laughs> I guess. Oh, we're on peaceful, aren't we? Oh, let's get normal. Okay. And I'll gather some resources along the way. And uh, I'll be back when I have relative shelter. Alright, guys. So I just wanted to show you this. Just isn't that beautiful? so much nicer than Minecraft generation. It's just the trees as well, it's just ah <laughs> it's so cool. And you got those little blue trees, your red, orange, green, yellow. So many colours. It's so cool. <laughs> and I think I've also found my place for my home. It's just around here in a rainforest biome. We'll transfer into that in a moment. Right now we're in autumn woods. So let's just head over there. Wong. Yeah, forested hills. Pretty sure it was rainforest. Well if it's not, but <laughs> I always wanted to live in a rainforest. Keep going. I had to kill myself some piggies on the way as well. I was getting a bit hungry. I had to eat that raw meat. <laughs> it wasn't very tasty. Almost there, guys. It's a big mountain, this. Look at it. Look at us. We're already on Y120 now. So much bigger than Minecraft mountains. Alright. Ow. So, I think here we go. Uh. Oh, shit. <laughs> that was close. Do you wish to load, Mr. Chunks? Let's try and press F3 and A. Yeah, in case you didn't know, F3 and A is a debug mode to load chunks. Um, and it doesn't work up here, so <laughs> I guess I'll just have to hop down. Uh, careful. <laughs> careful as we go out. <laughs> Not good. Look at these trees. They're huge as well. This is all one tree, you know. It's not lots of trees, it's one. It's one tree. It's crazy. Right, I'm just gonna... Oh no, there we go, it's loading. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to be living in that mountain. So that is a 
pretty cool mountain. You can see there's like just this overhang over there. And I'll just, just hop down there fairly safely. And look, there's this little cave inside the mountain. Well, I say little, but. Ooh, bugger. <laughs> oh, yeah, bitch, I'm gonna kill you. Okay, come on. Oh, no, you didn't give me stuff. Yeah, it's still okay, cave where lots of mobs are spawning, so let's wait till we get some armor if we go in there. Yeah. So, I think we're gonna hop up there and sort of make a base. Get ourselves sorted and happy. So, let's go. Alright, guys, so I've set up a little camp here, just inside the mountain, my little hobbit hole, and it's got a nice view. And. I'm just going to press N on my keypad, go to waypoints, add a waypoint, set the name as home, and go home. And we'll set it to a nice tinge of blue. Okay, that's nice. Back. Exit menu. Okay. So we've got home in there. That's cool. Like, it just tracks you wherever you move, isn't it? Move a tiny bit. <laughs> okay. So, I just wanted to show you guys that, and now let's move on. So, guys, I have expanded a tiny bit more. <laughs> literally a couple blocks uh, and I had a little fight with some skellies last night if you can see my health bar and I got this item called a shard of minium and I believe that it's of equivalent exchange stuff to do with that but I really don't want to get into that right now I'm kind of wanting to get into this uh, mistcraft stuff from starting off because I want to mine on a different world rather than on this world because it's sort of just like yeah I don't want to wreck my own world remove all the stuff might, I might do some little channel mining down here but for the majority of caving I want to be on a different thing so let's yeah let's have a look for sugarcane because <laughs> that's uh, probably one of the main priorities right now if we want to make books and the good thing about Miscraft is it's pretty basic stuff none of it is too excessive for um, items Why is, how the hell am I meant to get above this mountain <laughs> okay I see a route so yeah when I get to the top of this mountain I'll come back see ya So guys, I got to the top of the mountain and look what I found. This cool little village just traipsed around the landscape. Oh, the churches have circular bricks in this. Okay, that's quite cool. Now, oh, well, oh, wooden planks look really nice in this texture, don't they? Ah, uh, yeah, they look nice. Let me enjoy making those. Oh, blacksmith. Hehe. <laughs> what are we gonna get? That's pretty good actually. Rubber trees as well, nice. Iron sword, perfect. Let's just light this area up a little. We don't want you all to die too soon. And I had to have a pick on me. Well, let's make a pick. Let me find a crafting bench. Ooh, wheat as well. I think I'm gonna just. Yeah, instead of wait, making wheat farms, I guess I'll just come here for my wheat and stuff. It probably makes sense. Keep it nice, looking nice and cool. Come on, guys, replant what you take. <laughs> it's good for the environment. Oh, that's a cool little house. I don't get this. Always in this, um, with these mods, that's always broken seems. Like the torches, they never connect to the actual thing. Oh, fuck's sake. There you go. 
Come on, you can come out now. Yeah? You bet you you better? Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> well, what else is here? Now, if come on, they should have some place with books. So I'm hoping they have a library to trade with. Um Ooh, carrot. Oh, carrots or potatoes. Uh, ow, no bad. Okay. Got to replant what we take. We're able to eat these raw. Oh god, they give us nothing, do they? Let's cook them. Yeah, so I'm just going to go cook these up and then I'll be right back. Alright guys, so I've just started cooking up my potatoes. I got some already, yeah. And I also found some carrots in this village. Yeah. Ooh, hello. <laughs> um, and I've also made this tree tap. Now this tree tap is used to get rubber from trees. And I found a nice little rubber tree here. And hopefully it has a little rubber ball on it. Rubber balls are like orange. You just right click them with the tree tap and you get the rubber ball. But it appears I won't be getting a rubber ball today. <laughs> oh no, there we go. See this thing, little orange thing. Just right click it and there we go. Sticky resin, which we can then put in a furnace to get some lovely uh, rubber balls. Now, let's just hop back over to our good old furnace place and cook these up. Okay, so now you can see we've got this cool rubber here, and yeah, we can use that to make lots of different things. I hear something bad. Oh yeah, there he is. Hey bro. Okay, have a nice time. Oh, chill out, don't have to knock down the door. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just gonna head over back to our little humble abode and chill there for a bit. Stop and yeah, actually, turns out guys, there was no sugar cane or like any um, book person here in this village, which I find kind of kind of strange just due to the sheer size. I didn't check in this, but I doubt nah, nothing in here. Yeah, which I found strange, but oh well. Let's just head back and I will just go off on a little adventure to find some sugar cane. So we are back. So guys, not far from the village I found this little area with sugar cane and cows, very respectively, mm. so can make those books. Mm. Let's just kill mm. these guys. Am I getting leather? No, no leather. Really. Knowing my luck, I won't get any leather at all from these guys. It's going to be a right pain if I don't. Mm. Ooh, hello, Mr. Creeper. Fuck you too. Oh, leather. Hi. <laughs> One piece. That's not good. Die, Enderman. Mm, I wonder if I can take him on now. What the hell? Is that him making that noise? What? What the hell is that noise? What? <laughs> that was weird. Well, let's grab that sugar cane. And me like how much uh, tea leather. Mm. It's not good really. Yeah, the sugar cane. Mm. Gonna have to start with a small farm. Okay. It's not bad, but it's not great either. 
but I do reckon we might be able to kill him. So let's get up there and try and kill him. Oh bloody hell. Okay, cool. Dang it. I have to do this the old fashioned way. And Hello, Mr. Enderman. Cool. <coughs> Seems chill down now, so maybe. Maybe. All right, he is. Okay, let's go. <laughs> oh, cow! Come on, give us your leathery goodness. Hello. Yeah. Bye, bye. Oh. Die. <laughs> Any leather? No leather, really. All right. Well, I saw more cows back that way, so I might pick some up on the way. So, uh, see you back at base. Okay guys, so I just killed a zombie villager and I got given this present thing. I'm not sure if you can open it. It's a stolen present. Try to right click. Can I place it? How, how am I meant to? Do I maybe... Um, I'm not sure how this works. I might look into it. Right. Well, I've got uh, sugar cane now and all the goodness of things like that to make books. I've got feathers as well, which I needed. Um, so we need we need water. We do. So I think I remember seeing water around here. Is there water here? Hello, Mr. Skelly. Um, yeah, well, let's just have a look around for water. So, be right back. Okay, guys, so I have my descriptive book here, and I can travel to age two, it says. And so, if I've. I think, and oh, yeah, I also have my linking book to k bring me back to this world when I go to the other world. Otherwise, I could get stuck in that world. That would not be good. And just like a side note, guys, I'm not really going to be showing any recipes because it's all there. <laughs> it is. You can click on something and it tells you how to make it. So I'll tell you what it is, but I won't show you how to make it. Unless you so desire, then I might think about it. So this, um, I guess I right click on it. Like that. Oh, slowness and nausea. And from what I've heard, I think this is called a corrupt world. But nonetheless, I really... Oh, shit. Fuck me. That wasn't good. Um, my book... Yep. I think my book died. Yeah, your books sometimes have a chance of just like blowing up when you um sort of just kill you. Yeah. Your books sort of have a chance of destroying themselves when you come back, I think. Cause my yeah. Yeah. So Basically, I need to get some more sugar cane to make some more books. So I just need some more leather, because I want to find I want to find a world where it's like calm and I can do a sort of mining thing. Yeah, you can see my little sugar cane farm over there. Start expanding that. Also managed to get some iron, so 
we can make ourselves some iron tools and stuff. Actually, we need to make a bucket. We can bring that farm closer. Just go like that. Okay. So that's cool. And I'll just come back when I have some more books. See ya. Okay, hey guys, I'm back. And after a long while of collecting sugarcane and making books and all that, I've got these two books. One of them is the caves I found, and the other one is um, some crystal world I found. It's corrupt, so I'm unlikely to keep it, but it's not badly corrupt, so I can I grabbed a few crystals from there, and I made a portal in the cave world so I can get back without creating more linking books, and I'll show you how that works in a moment. But I also made this notebook, and what this notebook allows you to do is you can take one of your descriptive books, like the caving book, plop it in there, and it gives you... sorry. <laughs> Not feeling great. Alright, hey guys, so after a long time of collecting sugarcane and just making books and going to worlds, I came across a nice stable world, good for caving, so I've got that one there, I'll show you that in a moment. I also came across one with crystals, which is this age 5, um, which is slightly corrupt but not too badly, so I managed to grab a couple crystals uh, so I can make portals using these crystals, and I don't have to create a link book every time I um, go back, want to go back to this world. Um, I also made this, which is a w work table or something, <laughs> and I've got a notebook in it, and when you put a descriptive book in here, it transfers all the stuff you've got in that world into this. So like biomes, so I've got redwood forest, shrubland, swampland, alpine, different biome controllers, huge, large, medium, and this just gradually expands as you make your worlds as you make new worlds and things like that. And to pass the time of the sugar king growing, I also just cleared some trees. I've got quite a bit of wood now as well. I just made some coal out of it. Charcoal. But anyway, let's just uh, grab ourselves a cool pick like that. Boom, boom, boom. Like so. Let's grab some charcoal to make some torches. And let's head over to the caving world. Okay, as you can see, I've got this little portal I set up. Yeah, with some misplaced crystals, but... You see, I've got this little book here, in this book uh, receptacle. And that, just nine of the crystals. And well, that just creates a portal where we can travel back to the overworld, and we won't lose this book, which is very, very nice to do. Now... Let's just hop back up here. So I've got this world. It's a cave world. It's all nice and stable, no side effects. So everything's good like that. Look at all the marble as well. There's tons of it, so that is cool in itself. And yeah, we've just got loads of stuff to do in here. We can start caving. Look at that stuff. That's nice. That looks cool. What are we on? We're on Y65, so that's probably quite... Yeah, let's hop down there, see how far, how close to diamond level this will be. Yeah, this is very close to diamond level, which is cool. And there, there'll be loads of good ores down here, and stuff like that, so... That is excellent. Excellent. There's glowing ores as well. Aren't they pretty? Okay, well, I think that's ruby, so we'll grab some of that quick. Now we need an iron pick for that, so iron first. <laughs> well, anyway, guys, I'm going to do some caving now. So I hope you enjoyed this first episode. Oh, I'm just going to stop doing this for a moment. How do I? Can I just get on land quick? Um, okay, there we go. All right.
I mean, let's go. I don't know. Yeah, so we've got our world for doing caving. I'm going to be doing some caving now and hope you enjoyed the first episode. I did, so <laughs> see you guys soon. And like the video, leave comments below, and tell me what you think and tell me what you want. Like, if you have anything I could do in the episodes to make it more fun, maybe. Thanks for watching, guys. See y'all later. Bye-bye.